Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Guess what? You and your boo or ex boo started off as friends, very pl platonic, nothing going on. And then the both of you decided to cross that friendship line. Unfortunately, that relationship did not work out. And now you're trying to decide if you can flip the relationship back and become friends once again. Let's talk about it right after this. Hey fam and thanks for returning. So you are trying to decide if that ex, that friend can still become or revert back to becoming your close friend once again because that relationship did not work out. I have six tips to say that it can work. I personally am not a one to keep in contact with my ex. However, I will not knock you if you are one of those people who want to keep in contact with your ex. Um, me, I don't keep a lot of friendships, period. Uh, the friends that I have, like you either my friend or you either, quote unquote, my foe. That's what it is. So if we dated, there ain't no reason for us to be friends. Now, that's my own personal opinion, but I wanted to let you know where I am at, even though I'm still going to give you the tips because I do know people out there who definitely keep in contact with their ex, and they're actually pretty good friends. I just never seen the need to do that. So this is all about you today, though. This is not my show, so we're going to go ahead and jump on in. The first tip that I'm going to give you just to see if you can actually revert that uh, that that ex friendship back to being a friendship you want to after you guys break up you want to give each of you space at least for the first few months you want to give them their space and they need to give you your space no contact no contact there's no reason for you to contact them for the first few months which brings me into point number two the reason why you're doing that is because you want to make sure that all of the resentment all of the ill will all of the feelings all of the hurtfulness that came from the relationship not working out you want to make sure that all of those feelings have actually subsided and you've actually done the work and worked through why it didn't work out however you're you're okay with reverting back to the friendship you like the friendship better than what the relationship was the friend they was they was hella good as a friend as a lover not so much <laughs> and that's okay but number one space 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 for the two of you number two make sure that you have done the work figured out why the relationship worked out do your whole reflection do your whole you know maybe you're angry maybe you're sad maybe you're mad go through all of those feelings so for the first few months let him be him and let her be her okay and you be you okay <laughs> tip is if both of you come back around after those first few months and you know you worked on yourself and everything and then you both come back around and you actually talk and say that you know we both want to actually try this friendship thing about think again not the relationship the friendship talk about what the boundaries will be because what I do hear from people who actually stay in contact and stay friends is one person feels very comfortable about bringing up their new boo and the other person don't necessarily want to hear about it. So that might be a boundary that you bring up. And I'm really saying might, but I'm really making it like a hard thing, which is why I put it in here. Because I want you to talk about that. Because if you are going to be the person who is the talker about your new relationship, because that used to be your friend and y'all used to do that once before, you need to make sure... You need to make sure it's okay this time around because before you guys were platonic, the sexual exchange didn't happen when you guys were having those conversations. And now it has happened. You guys have crossed that boundary, right? It just didn't work out. So talk about your boundaries, what your boundaries will be. And, you know, what's what's a hard no? What's a soft no? You know, what's a heck no I don't want to hear about? Just talk about it. Be grown-ups, be adults, talk about what the boundaries will be. Number four, in order for this friendship to really ensue as just platonic friends once again, both parties have to let go of that lingering, hopeful feelings that, guess what, maybe if I stay his friend, maybe if I stay her friend, this relationship thing can actually rekindle. Let all of that go. 
if it's going to happen, it's going to happen anyway. But at this point, because you're just trying to be their platonic friend once again, you need to let all of those lingering feelings that you have holding on to, that you're letting fester, let them go. That's part of doing your work. That's part of doing your work. That's part of doing your work. Understand that these feelings are going to be natural and they are normal. However, you have to learn to manage them and actually just don't feed into them. Don't have all of these what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, these fantasies about it. Just, just let it all go. If it happens again, let it happen. But don't become their friend again in the hopes that this will happen. Because that's not always the case. The fifth thing is actually research, which is it can actually turn back into a friendship if you guys were once truly friends before the relationship. Now, you should be because that's what the title of this is. You know, you're trying to rekindle it after the relationship didn't work out. You know, you guys were friends prior to. So that should be a no brainer here. But I just wanted to make sure that I put that in here because research actually shows that you guys have a better chance of reverting back and becoming friends once again if you were friends before the relationship started out. The sixth and final tip that I'm going to give you to see if your relationship can actually revert back to a friendship is if you guys were actually um, really devoted to each other within your relationship, it just happened to not work out, it can revert back to a friendship. It has a high probability, let's say that, of reverting back to a platonic friendship. If you guys ended on a positive note, basically not no no resentment, not harboring any of that stuff. You know what? We tried it out. It didn't work out, but I still really want to be your friend because we were greatest friends. If it ended on a positive note, another high probability that the relationship can revert back to a friendship. And then finally, if you guys had a very high satisfaction rate within your relationship, then more than likely you can revert back to being friends. All right, fam, let me know what you thought about this video. Are you actually one of the people out there who continue to be friends with an ex? I definitely want to hear why you actually do that. I'm just curious. There is no judgment here. Again, I'm not one to do it. I'm just, I just want to hear what you have to say. Like, we know that this is a dialogue here. This is not a monologue. Don't just come just to hear what I have to say. And then don't let me know that you have come because I don't know that you have come. And let me just say, I do have a lot of you ghosts out there. What I mean by ghost is you'll be one of the first people to watch one of my videos, but I never know who you are because you don't like it. And you have not left me a message. I want to hear what you have to say. Like you, you get to hear what I got to say all the time. <laughs> But I don't hear what you have to say, at least for the first, like, let's say roughly 20 people. Y'all come and y'all go. But I never know who you are because you didn't like the video and you did not leave me a message. So do that. Let's start doing that. Let's, let's see who you be.